what's good josh your boy ross back at again with another video so we just finished watching monday night raw shout out to everyone that was a part of the stream man uh this raw was weird it was like kind of a chore to get through but it wasn't because of the in ring uh well the things that we saw in the ring tonight obviously they uh started the tournament for the new world heavyweight uh champion or, or championship to crown to see who's gonna win at night of champions or be the finalist to uh, determine who's gonna be the new world heavyweight champion so it wasn't because of the matches i think the matches were fine i think they were enjoyable you know kind of predictable but enjoyable nonetheless it was it was the crowd i don't know what it was going on with this jacksonville florida crowd i don't know if y'all just wasn't feeling it but you guys were just dead to the point where they're piping in crowd noises to like a lot of situations well like piping in crowd boos and cheers to dominic of all people you would think dominic would not need the crowd boos to be piped in but it was you know they had their lively moments here and there but for the most part they were kind of dead even for the in-ring uh the great in-ring stuff that we were seeing even for the last match with finn balor and uh uh seth rollins having their little kind of you know run back to see who's gonna be this first ever well not first ever but who's gonna be the new world heavyweight champion kind of a, a little a little nod to their past on them being finalists to see who's gonna be the first ever universal champion uh so they had a really good match and the crowd was getting a little bit more lively for them but for the overall the crowd was not there and it it hurt the show because if the crowd's not there then how are you supposed to care a little bit more on what's happening in front of you even though it may be good but the energy just wasn't there from the crowd man we went from puerto rico where they were just going crazy to crickets which was wild and they were having some good wrestling in on tonight's show in my opinion but outside of that outside of raw just not really feeling as important as it should be for what was on the show we got to talk about obviously what happened with cody rhodes first of all cody being involved in this whole tournament still racks my brain because once again if i'm announced that i'm in this tournament i'm immediately letting people know i don't want to be in this there's only one thing that i want is to go for roman and to to right the wrongs that wasn't you know to right the wrongs of wrestlemania you know and how i got screwed out of the title so i need to finish the story i would have preferred that but they went with this route and as soon as he was put in this match it kind of made sense that yeah something screwy is gonna happen most likely brock lesnar is gonna return and he's gonna attack cody we kind of figured that the rumors were there that uh that uh brock was there at the show so i was like okay cool this is this is what's happening i i figured it was gonna happen that way it's the way it happened that was kind of the thing for me the thing that i didn't like is the fact that brock came out there surprised him f5 would him on the floor f5 would him through the table and then pretty much was cradling his injured body like he was just some bum that he didn't just fight last night now you can say he was just in the match but once again here's one of those things where i would have preferred okay brock attacks slides him from under the ring he he's in the position for the f5 and then cody slips out of it and then they start brawling you know what I'm saying he start he maybe push him to the turnbuckle he's already busted open and then they start brawling but brock's starting to fight back too they get security they get officials just have cody fight back cody wasn't out of it to the point where he couldn't fight back it's just it's literally we went one step forward to go two steps back that's my only thing we literally watched him win even though the way he did win i think a lot of people would have preferred a clean pin but obviously we know why they didn't go that route because they wanted to obviously paint the you know well set up that rematch like brock is not happy how his face looks or whatever so he wants to fight so i don't think it's going to be a traditional wrestling match i think there's going to be some type of i don't know 
I don't know what type of match it's gonna be, but I don't. It's gonna be some some type of shenanigans, maybe a steel cage match or anything goes or all falls count anywhere match. It's gonna be a stipulation added to this. I just don't see this being a regular wrestling match because he wants to fight. So we don't know what the stipulation is. But at the end of the day, we knew this was gonna happen. It's just I really wish they would have not had Cody once again get hurt. And, you know, now he's selling the injury. Oh, man, I just fought this guy. Like like I said, I would have preferred. He didn't have to get the best of Brock, but getting some punches in, getting some licks in, you know, he's fighting back. And then you could have had Finn Balor still wait, win the same way, had security come out there. It would have made a little bit more excitement. It would have took away from their match. I get that. It would have took away from the match, but. The match was already taken away from once Brock came out there. So, I, I don't know. It wasn't the best way I would have booked that. But, obviously, we're going to get this again. I kind of don't want to see this. I don't. And, and here's the thing. Brock, got to, he has to lose. It's simple. If Brock wins this match, what, we're going to get a Brock and Cody 3? No. Brock has to win this. So what I'm thinking could possibly, I said Brock, Cody has to win this. My bad, my bad. No, Brock don't need to win this. Cody has to win this. It's simple. There's no other solution than Cody Rhodes winning. And then we're done with this feud. We don't need Brock to even it up and then we get one more match. No, Cody wins this decisively, pins him, have Brock go on to do something else. And most likely, they're going to put Cody and Money in the bank. It's probably going to happen that way. They're probably going to... Because now, Cody's out of the title contention for uh, title contention for the World Heavyweight Championship because of Brock. And he has to find a way to get to Roman. The only other way they have left. And they can't... I don't think they need to do back-to-back Royal Rumbles. No. Cody's going to probably be in Money in the Bank. And it's one of those things when you put him in that match, there's a good chance you know he's going to win. It only dep- it, it really depends on how the crowd receives it. So, I don't know. But most likely, and I know a lot of us would like it to be LA Knight, but it, the only way to write themselves out of this situation is to have Cody cash in. Well, announce that he's going to cash in at SummerSlam. And if he doesn't win it there, then I'm over it. Whatever. So, yeah. It was predictable. I wish they would have booked it a little bit better. I don't like the way they've been booking Cody. You know, I get it. It's Brock, but he did just beat him the night before. Whether it was like a a super, I mean, it was a clean victory. He still won. It wasn't his, you know, it, it, it was one of those, well, I guess you can say the caveat is he pushed him into the turnbuckle. So you can kind of say that, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like a, he beat down Brock, beat Brock down. It was more of a, he capitalized on the situation. So if they're going to do this, whatever stipulation match they're going to have, because it's not going to be a regular wrestling match, have Cody just beat the guy down and, and then we move on. Have him probably most likely be in Money in the Bank. Have him cash in. Because whoever wins Money in the Bank, if it ain't Cody, they obviously going to go for whoever's the, the World Heavyweight Champion because they're not beating Roman. Whoever he gets Money in the Bank, they're not beating Roman. Roman's not losing the title on a run-in cash-in. He will probably lose the title on a pre-planned cash-in, most likely from Cody Rhodes. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this episode of Monday Night Raw? Were you guys surprised on how things played out with Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar interfering? Are you guys even looking forward to them having another match at Night of Champions? And if you are, what match do you think, what type of stipulation do you think should they have to, you know, end off this feud and we go on from there? So, but I appreciate all the love and support. Um, also, before we end this, yes, Seth Rollins did win on the Monday Night Raw side of things. They had a good match with Finn Balor. You kind of figured that was going to happen. It wasn't, you know, you, you kind of knew that was going to happen. But it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be the person to win on the SmackDown side of things. That's going to be interesting. So I definitely have to make note of that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road 250K. And I'm still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.